Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, there's, of course, a lot of talk about NPUs, or Neural Processing Units. So, um, a quick difference and a quick um, look at what's the difference between a CPU, a GPU, and an NPU. So, here I'm going to actually use the uh, Task um, Manager to um, highlight a little bit. Uh, what we have. So in a computer, a standard computer has a CPU and will have a GPU. And these are standard on every computer. It's been standard on every computer for ages now because you need to have the CPU, which is the basic brain of the computer. And you need to have a GPU because you have to have some form of output. But not all CPUs, GPUs are made equal but they all have the same purpose. Now in the future, maybe in the task manager, it will be visible. There'll be an added bonus here. It's gonna say an NPU, neural processing unit. We talked about how the Surface laptops of the next generation will all have one. Now, what's the difference between all three of them? Well, technically, each one could do the task of the other one. So you could technically, if you had the you know, architecture run correctly, have an NPU run as a CPU or a GPU, or a GPU could run as a CPU, and actually it, it, it is in certain cases, and, or, you know, and so on. They're kind of interchangeable, but it's, it's just to the basic functionalities. They are processors, but they don't work in the same way. And they are specialized for specific tasks. So the CPU, think about it more as a very general processor. It can do anything. It could do the task of an NPU. It could do the task of a GPU. And actually, in some cases, it, it did in the past a lot more than today. Um, but because it's a general class processor, it doesn't do everything fast. It does it at its own speed. It's not specialized, so it will do the job of the other processors, but it'll do it at the speed that it can with its own architecture. So think about CPU as being the master of the computer. It can do everything, but it doesn't do necessarily everything correctly or at a good speed. But at least it's versatile, and it will actually run everything that you want. Um, GPUs have been added for a simple reason, and actually powerful GPUs have been added to even relieve more tasks. Because there was a time, and there's still a time, when you have a basic GPU, which is a graphics processing unit, a lot of the tasks were actually sent to the CPU. And any computer that has a basic GPU well, what happens is often it's slow because a lot of the tasks go to the CPU. And I told you that the CPU can do the task of the GPU. It just doesn't do it very fast. So that's why a lot of the basic processors are rather crappy at what they do. They don't perform well. So there's higher-end GPUs that actually take a load off the CPU and do much more of the computing of the graphics. Now... I told you the CPU is a general processor that could do everything. The GPU could also, but the GPU is specialized in one task and one type of task, and it's to actually decompress and play around with graphics and make all the calculations for what you see on your screen, especially when you're playing games. If you're playing a 3D game with fast uh, moving action on screen, your GPU is working very hard at making all the calculations of all the pixels on the screen. It's specialized for that. It does it better when you have a good GPU. It does it better than the CPU will ever be able to do because it is very powerful at doing specific tasks and it has specific instruction sets for that task. So that's the other problem with the CPU it doesn't have all the inf the uh, instruction sets. So it has to actually emulate an instruction set 
to do a task. That's why it's extremely slow at doing GPU tasks. GPUs, the graphics processors, have their own instruction set that actually are done for making real fast calculations. GPUs are extremely powerful. They are as powerful, if not more, than CPUs in general. The good GPUs are very, very powerful. And that's why a lot of, actually, a lot of software you use might actually use the GPU for certain tasks. So um, I have, for example, the software that I use that actually has online, um, a lot online processing of, of some information of a device that I have that actually uses the GPU to make things even faster and have it work even faster and relieve the load from the CPU at the same time. Because you leave the CPU alone to do other tasks, you use the GPU for what it could do, it makes everything faster. Now the NPU, what will be the NPU? Think about it once again, the GPU is a graphics, specialized graphics processor as its own instruction sets, its own way of working to make things fast with graphics. The neural processing unit is a specialized CPU, if you want. It's a specialized processor that has its own way of working, but specific to a task that has to do with anything artificial intelligence. So um, basically, if you encounter, if you have an NPU and you encounter tasks where it's AI driven, where artificial intelligence is needed, the NPU will do that task. It will do it better than a GPU could do that same task because it's optimized for that. You know, the GPU is optimized for graphics. That's why graphics run well on a PC that has a good GPU. And NPUs are going to be tasks that, you know, they only just do AI stuff. They're specialized for that. They have parallel computing units and instruction sets that are specific to AI. So basically each processor does its own thing, is specialized for its own work. And they are, once again, interchangeable. They're all processors in the end. They're just specialized for a specific task. So CPU, more of a general task, kind of runs everything. GPU, it's really specialized in graphics, but could do anything else if you would program it, you know, have a program or an operating system. You could run an operating system off a GPU. It, it would work. You just have to write it in the way that the GPU understands it. And uh, an NPU, well, specialized in AI, but it could run graphics if you want. Maybe not as good as the graphics processor does because it's not specialized for that, specialized for something else, and and so on. So, you know, and you can use an NPU, have just that, and it could run all of it if you want it, but it might not run it really well because it has too much to do. So by creating processors that are specialized for a specific task, you're making their computer and the devices faster because having a chip dedicated for each task means the CPU is always, you know, kind of used less. And that's what you always want. Whatever you're doing on your computer, you don't want to have your CPU at 100% all the time. You want to have your CPU used minimal amount that it has to be used and leave the hard work to dedicated processors or de dedicated hardware. And this is what makes a device extremely fast. Everybody has its own work to do, and the CPU can just, you know, look at what it has to do as a basic task of making your computer work. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.